Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And in coming videos, I will talk about GraphQL a little bit more. So on the screen, you can see I have covered a lot of content on the GraphQL, like what is GraphQL, GraphQL versus REST. Then we talked about Apollo GraphQL server and we did, we wrote an application where we actually create a full stack clone application with the React and the GraphQL. We were using SQLize and then what I did is I covered another library for writing the GraphQL APIs which is Yoga GraphQL. So earlier we used the Apollo server, Apollo GraphQL server and then I, I used Yoga GraphQL and it also like it's just another library which is helping us to build the GraphQL APIs and I used the MongoDB here. So you might have seen okay there are different kind of application where some application is using type ORM, MongoDB, Postgres with the different ORMs. So there is a lot of possible combinations now exist. Either you write a REST APIs or either you write a GraphQL APIs because there are tons of libraries are available to do a simple thing. So for that I have drawn this diagram. Okay, what all possible combinations are there? What all things we can cover? Okay, so I have already covered Apollo GraphQL server like how to define the type, schema, resolvers and the queries, uh, mutations, all those things. Similarly, I have created uh, videos in the same playlist. You can see here the bottom videos are for Yoga GraphQL and we have covered the basic fundamentals, how to create uh, queries, how to write mutations, resolvers and all those things. Now the important aspect is how should we do this in the express and how should we do it in the nest js most of my examples were on the express earlier for the graphql okay apollo graphql server with the express yoga graphql library with express to write a graphql apis now we can also explore different options you can write a nest js middleware which is like a graphql middleware okay which is talking to the multiple rest apis or you can create a standalone graphql server using nest.js nest.js indirectly uses the apollo federation apollo graphql server library to expose the queries and mutation so but obviously the syntax is different the way of writing is different from the express so we will look into this like how we can create a graphql server with the help of uh, nest.js and maybe like uh, some kind of a API gateway uh, with the help of Nest.js using GraphQL. Okay, so the, the three building blocks for any GraphQL server is the expose query, mutation and subscription. And APIs are all about storing the data. Either, so there are two options. Either you create GraphQL as a middleware. So it will talk to the REST APIs, right? This is GraphQL APIs again talking to some external endpoint or existing REST APIs or there is another option is okay you have a GraphQL server and in the same server you have written some implementation using Prisma, Type ORM, Next, SQLize or Mongoose to read and write in the database. So what all possible combinations are there here? You write your GraphQL with the Express and use Type ORM, your GraphQL Express with the Prisma, your GraphQL Express with the SQLize or Mongoose or you use nest.js expose query and mutation using apollo graphql server because nest.js uh, nest.js graphql implementation is on top of apollo and then you can use type orm prisma sqlize mongoose all these interface to read and write to the database so as i explained either you write a graphql server to talk to the rest apis or you write a graphql server to stitch the schemas coming from the multiple endpoints, multiple other GraphQL endpoints. So most of my previous examples were, okay, you write gra you a GraphQL server, use Express and pick one of these, either Mongoose to talk to the MongoDB, SQLize to talk to MySQL, Postgres or any RDBMS, okay. Now these are the possible combinations you can see anywhere, okay, writing the your GraphQL server and using the Prisma and on uh, using express but here we will change the pattern a little bit on the express we have already seen a lot of examples and here i have already put this in the github 
you can see the possible combinations express graphql apollo right apollo graphql server then express graphql apollo with next maybe with the postgres and mysql apollo graphql with the mongo apollo graphql with the sqlize apollo graphql with the type or then next js right next js with the prisma next js with the next js graphql with the type or next js graphql with the mongo db next js graphql with the prisma and type or all these possible combinations you can use to build your apis from the scratch now your your graphql we, we have already seen this with the mongo db we can check the prisma okay when it's a same example i'm just changing the techn technology stack okay somewhere i'm using mongo container okay i changed it to the postgres container and using prisma right so here we are using nestjs and here we are using pure express because nestjs is built on top of apollo okay now what we are going to do in on top of this playlist this playlist talks about okay there are 63 videos talks about what is graphql and how to write query mutations how to deal with the data using sqlize and here we are talking about mongodb now on top of that what we will do is we will take a simple example where you can talk about prisma yoga graphql with prisma and then we will talk about nestjs how to write graphql server with the nestjs and nestjs with the postgres using type orm nestjs with the another database maybe with the sqlize and here we are going to write uh, graphql apis only and we will also see how we can use graphql as a middleware so that this can talk to other rest endpoints being exposed from the other rest apis okay so this is a summary i mean i will be adding this at the end of this playlist and i, I already have a separate playlist where i will be adding the videos but if you are following this playlist you will get everything about graphql in this okay uh, thanks everyone uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned i will be posting more videos on this channel